Well, hello, my YouTube family. Why is it only Tuesday? Bitch and moan, Nancy. That's all you do is just bitch and moan. I know, but you still didn't answer the question. Why is it only Tuesday? But it's a Tuesday, the work part of the day, over. And I am extraordinarily happy about that. Two more Amazon orders came. One of them was for him. It was his food, which he was extraordinarily happy to receive. I mean, to the point where I had to literally open the bag and give him some because he was smelling it through the box. Cats' noses, animals' noses in particular. I think he just went to, yeah, I put some in, in his bowl. He was so happy. He was walking around it. He was meowing all over the place. You would have thought I'd never fed the man. Cat. Very happy. Very, very happy. So, okay. So, off he goes. Off and be lively. Okay, the other package was this it's called it's from mountain falls it's it's mountain falls skin cream this is the original formula of noxema noxema way back in the day when it not not when it first came out but when i started to use it it used to have camphor and eucalyptus I think, it was, I think those were the two. Camphor and eucalyptus, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Let me double check that for a second. Yeah, camph camphor and menthol. Yeah, camphor and menthol. And somewhere along the line, the camphor and the menthol dropped off. But I don't know. There was something about the camphor and the menthol that livened up the skin, gave it a nice zing, a refreshing feel. Noxema still does that, but not as much as when it had the camphor and the menthol. Well, people, this here Mountain Falls Skin Cream with Eucalyptus Oil, it says compares to Noxema. I don't know if y'all can see that. Right here, compares to Noxema, but they don't tell you which Noxema. The original, original, original Noxema. Ah, uh, found it. I will be ordering a ton of these because this was what I was looking for. This, I mean, you can even smell the camphor. And the menthol and the eucalyptus, all of it. It's just, it's, 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 it's Noxema, but the original, original, original formula. My skin is going to be so after work because that's what I'll be washing the makeup off with. So yeah, eucalyptus, where's the camphor? Well, it's in there somewhere. It's in, where is it? Yeah, well, anyway, it's here. And um, yeah, I don't know how I fell upon this, but I fell upon it and then I was reading all the reviews and I think the very first review is a very lengthy review and it states that this is the original formula. Uh, even though they, they there there's a Noxema original clean or re, original cleansing cream, it's not the original original. This is the original original. And a lot less expensive. So I'm very, very happy. This was only three bucks. Whereas the Noxema now is what, $6.99, $7.99, somewhere around it. found it. Okay, so let us get on with lips of the day. Another one of my goodies that Pretty Silly Girls gave me, but I had to add a gloss to it because it's a matte. And let us start off with the liner. The liner is NYX brown uh, lined and filled. I love these. I love these. NYX lingerie, but this is just NYX lingerie. So when it just says NYX lingerie, not NYX lingerie gloss, it's 
the matte formula. So this is the matte formula, but the color is sensational. The color is called, hold on, French Made. And I even got a compliment on it. French Made. And that and this is what French Made looks like. And the only gloss that I put on top was my um, Glossier Clear Gloss. But this is what French Made looks like. That is French made. I mean, it looks like it has a sheen, but it'll dry out to a matte. And that is French made. It's a it's a sensational shade. Love this shade. Love it, love it, love it. But me, of course, not being fond of mattes, all I have to do is just add a clear gloss to it. Oh, and I am fine. So there you go. NYX lingerie. And I like this formula too. I like this formula. Me like this formula a lot. What, what, what is he doing? Is he doing his business? Yeah, he's doing his business. He's on top of the heater because I don't know where spring is. It claims that it's spring and I don't know where spring is. They're talking about a nor'easter. I heard about a, it's got to be a rainy nor'easter. It's too, it's too warm to be a, a snowy nor'easter. Although, um, it's looking awfully, awfully, awfully gray out there. So I'm thinking it's going to be rain. It's not going to be snow. <laughs> when I wake up tomorrow, I guess I'll find out. But I'm not going to be, I'm not going to ooh wish. And, and I really don't want any snow, people. I don't want any snow. Okay, so back to Lips is the Death. NYX Lingerie. That is NYX Lingerie. An awesome, awesome shade. Thank you once again, Michelle. Okay, people, there is really nothing. I'm talking about nothing to talk about. But look at the coloring. Better coloring. Don't you agree? Better than yesterday. Yeah, I think um, I think that one's got to go. The face powder that I'm using on my face today is this one. Here's my Ultra Flesh Ninja Star. Here's the Ninja Star. Here it is. Y'all, y'all have seen me you talk about this before. Um, this is the one that you know you could take this out and it had it comes with a, a like a necklace, like a little velvet necklace, and you could use this, but this can also be a weapon. Not that I am promoting it to be a weapon, but it's called Ninja Star. I'm just saying, people. Okay. So, there you go. It's magnetized to the box. So, and this is in the this is in the shade Radiant, and I have another one called Brilliant. And I really want to finish this one off, people. Look! You want to talk about hitting pan beyond pan. Look at this. I know, Nancy, like, what are you keeping it for? But there's still some, some good stuff on the round the edges, people. I like to clean the plate, you know what I mean? So, lasted me for a very, very, uh, very, very long time. So, I'm still having fun with this. But at least, this is my, this is the color. I should be. Not yesterday's color. Yes, what the, where the hell was I going? Well, I, I think I have to toss it. I think I have to toss that powder. I'm keeping it. But if it does me wrong the next time I wear it again... You gotta go. You gotta go. This is much better. And I've even got a slight bit of a glow. I guess everything was working in, you know, in, what's the word I'm looking for? Harmony. Working in harmony today. The NYX Dewy. I got a little bit of a dew. Dewy gloss. Dewy finish. So I'm happy about that. And my face powder. Yeah, the look came together today. Even to the point of eyeshadow, people. Eyeshadow. And what is the eyeshadow, Nancy? It is the... I'll be linking. I'll be posting everything on the bottom, of course. L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Amber Rush. Amber Rush, people. What? I just felt like getting all duded out today. 
Okay, so that is that. With that upon that, I have nothing else to talk to you about. Nothing else to say. Nobody else jumped ship. Um, I think, I think, uh, I think all I know is the grumblings are already starting. Because apparently, I don't know what's going on with the nursing department. Maybe the nursing department is going to be no longer a nursing department. It's being dispersed to like some of the responsibilities are being dispersed to the coordinators as if they don't have enough on their plates. And I don't know what is happening to the nursing department. There technically still is one, but the responsibilities of the nursing department are being dispersed to the coordinators. It's like apples and oranges, and I'm like trying to figure out what's going on. But you know what? I'm not going to lose sleep. I've got enough on my plate. So whatever happens, happens. And that is just that. With that, upon that. Um, oh, hunty. The people who watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. What is going on? The season finale was Sunday, and I think next week, next week, is going to be part one of the reunion. I think it's going to be a three-part at this time, people. There is stuff going down with Nene, stuff going down with Cynthia, stuff going down with Portia and uh, Candy. I don't know what's happening, but... Me observing, I'm thinking Nini's acting rather childish. She gets this, she gets this sort of kind of way where if you're her friend, you can't be anybody else's friend unless they're her friends. Like you can't have outside friends of your own. Or else she gets very jealous and she gets very possessive. And if you tend to stray, then you're no longer her sister. You're no longer her friend. What? This person, and, and, and the person that she has this beef with now is Cynthia. Because Cynthia had a party, like a grand opening for a, a like a personalized Seagram's. Like she has her own flavor of Seagram's. And, you know, there, there was a big launch party and all of this. She invited Kenya. Kenya originally said she couldn't go. She spoke to Candy about it. Candy said, don't worry, I, I'm going to try to get it. I'm going to definitely try to get her to come. But all of a sudden, the grand dame Nene leaks. You must call her to let her know if somebody that she does not approve of is going to attend not her party, Cynthia's party, somebody else's party. Why do I need to call you? To tell you that I'm inviting somebody that you don't like. The room is very large. If you don't like somebody that I am inviting, now all of a sudden I'm in the room. All of a sudden you no longer my friend because I was supposed to tell you in advance that somebody that you don't like that I happen to still be friends with is coming to my party. Nene got it twisted. And I'm going to give her a little bit of slack. Because her husband is battling cancer and they were, you know, they're going through the step-by-step -step process with us. And Greg is, you know, he's okay, but he had ups and downs. He had ups and downs. And it's taking a toll emotionally on Nene. So for that, I'm cutting her just a little bit of slack. But for her to think that Cynthia needs to, like, have her approve of the guest list just because Kenya showed up. First of all, Cynthia didn't know that Kenya was going to show up because when Kenya spoke to Cynthia, Kenya said, I'm not coming. Thank you for the invite, but I'm not going to come. 
So Cynthia assumes, oh, okay, well, fine. You know, she's not coming. We'll miss her. Candy is the one that took it upon herself to almost kind of force Kenya to come. There were a couple of things, reasons why Kenya didn't want to come. She realized that they were still filming and that Nene was going to be there. And she didn't want to, you know, she didn't want to dampen anything pertaining to Cynthia. She didn't want to, you know, veer the spotlight away from Cynthia. Well, Nene being Nene, when she saw Kenya come in, you know, she and what, what's that other chick's name? Marsha, Marva, her. I'm not too fond of her either. What is it? Monica, M M Maria, her. Yeah, her. Miss Fashion Queen, so she thinks. I've yet to like anything that she's walked, she, she's worn, but that's just me. It could be an age difference thing. It's definitely a taste difference thing. But that's Mar Marlo, Marlo, Marlo. So once Kenya came in, you know, little snide remarks between Marlo and Nini were bouncing back and forth. It's just so high school. It's just so high school. Like, I'm really kind of surprised about Nini in regards to this, to the point where now she's she's deleted everybody from her Twitter account. Like, she she's unfriended everybody. Why? Why are you making such an issue out of this? Well, the story will eventually drop, I think, next, this, this Sunday, when part one of... The reunion, I hope it's a two-hour. Oh, I hope it's a two-hour. But you never know. Part one of the reunion for Atlanta comes into play. There's going to be a lot of ish going down for sure. And it's going to be Nene against Cynthia. I can see that coming a mile away. Even um, Candy has a... a video series and I forget the name of it but I was watching I was watching like Sunday's episode yesterday and she was talking with Cynthia Cynthia is no wallflower people she is nice but she will not be walked over and I think she's learning that hard lesson from Nene she ain't going to take no, she, she's not taking Nene's crap. If Nene wants to act a fool, let Nene act a fool. It's, it's, she's apologized for, for what I, I still don't know. But in order to keep the peace, she's going to apologize to Nene. Okay, I'm sorry that, you know, I invited Kenya and I didn't tell you or what. What you got to tell her for? It's your party. If she doesn't like the guest list, the door is that way. If you want to act a fool and miss out, that's on you. I mean, for real. Seriously? So, by her inviting Kenya and not knowing that she was going to come anyway and have Candy bring her to the party, how are you still mad at Cynthia? Actually, you should be mad at Candy. You know Candy ain't going to give a fat baby you know what. So you think that Cynthia is the is the weaker of the two and you're going to just go up against Cynthia? Cynthia ain't afraid of you. Not anymore, anyway. You want to be friends? Fine. You don't want to be friends? Hey, that's cool, too. She ain't going to lose sleep. I don't, I don't understand it. And I like Nene. That's the thing. I like Nene. But sometimes she can tend to get on a little bit of a high horse. And... Like, why? Because you're the original OG of the cast? That's that's the reason why you want to hire us? I don't understand. I, I really, I don't understand her sometimes. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. I think she's absolutely twisted in thinking that 
by Kenya coming to the party, it's an affront against her. What? First of all, it's not your party. So how's it an affront against you? It would be a front against you if it was your party and somebody invited Kenya and you didn't approve of that. That's on that that then I can understand. Then I can under, then you'd have a reason to be upset. But for A, it's not your party. B, Cynthia can invite any any damn person she pleases. It is her party and not your party. Three, if you don't like the guest list or a particular guest, the room is large. You don't have to stay with this person. You can talk to others. There are other housewives that you could talk to. And Kenya, wow, completely ignored Nene. Completely. Nene was trying to, you know, make, I don't think she was trying to make little digs. Like she was saying hi to everybody. Kenya was saying hi to everybody. And she's like, hi. And Kenya just kept it moving. Kenya is done with Nene. Kenya is, I mean, she completely ignored her which I think ruffled Nini's feathers as well. Like when Nini walks into the room, the whole room is supposed to tremble. Bitch, please. <laughs> Look, you an original OG, granted, we bow down to you for that. But your business is your business. Your business is not everybody's business. You understand what I'm saying? Or their business is not your business. They don't have to. They don't have to have a guest list, and you have to uh, approve or decide. Well, who the hell are you? So in this regard, I'm on Cynthia's side for this one. But we shall see what breaks down at the reunion. And as far as Portia is concerned, she's got a little baby girl now, and everything's right with the world. I'm happy. I'm happy that it seems like everybody seems to be happy, with the exception of Nene. Even Cynthia's happy. She got her man. She's very happy with her man. And she's not going to lose sleep over Nene. And maybe that's what's getting Nene's panties in a twist. Like, I'm supposed to be your original OG girl. What I say usually goes, how come you're not following in my shadow this time. Sorry. I grew up. I grew a pair. I grew up and I grew a pair. And I can still be your friend, which is what Cynthia is trying to tell her. I am still your friend, but you don't like the way I'm your friend now because I happen to be friends with Kenya. I'm not supposed to like Kenya because you don't like Kenya. What are we? In fourth grade? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? So um, we'll see how that goes. We shall see how that goes. Right now, what's going on? I'm watching, oh, I think Real Housewives of Potomac will be starting soon. And right now, I'm watching Real Housewives of New York, which has its ups and downs as well. I don't know what the hell is going on with Dorinda. I don't know what the hell is going on with, um, what's her name? Bethany. Luann, now Luann has, has a beef with, with Dorinda. Everybody got to have a beef with somebody. I guess that's what brings the drama. That's what brings my fat ass to the, to, to the sofa and I watch every week. So I'm just as guilty as everybody else. But if it was an actual beef about something huge, then I'd be okay. These beefs. They're so high school, it's it's beyond. But I'm still there watching, so I'm just as guilty as the rest of us, as the as the as the rest of them or the rest of the viewers. I'm just as guilty. In any event, people, let me know if you guys are watching any Real Housewives of anything, because I think right now it's Beverly Hills, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Real Housewives of New York. 
Potomac will be starting soon. Atlanta just ended. So is anybody on board with the entire Real Housewives series? Because I'm I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Okay, so that is just that with that upon that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, people? Once again, you know I'm going to wash my face with this. This Mountain Falls skin cream. I mean, just the, again. Oh, it's just, it clears the nostrils because of that eucalyptus and camphor. It clears the nostrils. And I'm hoping it just, it, it, Noxzema used to give me a glow. So I'm hoping to have that glow again. All right. So that is just that with that upon that. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about everything. And I will talk to you um tomorrow. Okay. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.